I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip, knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both fresh water and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This oh! is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! So we're getting ready to cook up some of this fish. We're gonna ceviche the red vermilion and probably do fish and chips with the lean cod. Yeehaw. Should be pretty good. Yeah, all I do is just, I don't need a whole lot. Get a couple tomatoes going, some limes, some onion, and then we're gonna put some cilantro and some other spicy stuff. Nice. Give it a little kick. And for those of you who are not familiar with ceviche, uh, the basic concept is you put raw fish in with a bunch of citrus, so lemons and limes, and the acidity in the citrus actually cooks the fish. So there's no cooking involved, but you end up with cooked fish, and it's delicious. And of course, the main ingredient, Star of the show, a little red vermilion caught a few hours ago. Basically want to give all the ingredients kind of a rough chop. Make them all, you know, roughly the same size. Roughly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you typically eat it with chips or? Yeah, it's yeah. got like the Tostito scoops work great for ceviche. Oh yeah, it's like little bowls. Little bowls of ceviche. Dig in. Gordon Ramsay would have my ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not using a toasted crostini from <laughs> exactly. Italy? And then... Oh, what was this little secret ingredient? That is the secret ingredient. So that is actually a Thai chili garlic paste. Nice. And uh, it really adds a nice little kick to it. So Love it. So this stuff. Mm. Fish yeah. into the lime juice. How long is it typically, do you put it in the fridge then? Um, I let it sit in the fridge for about half hour to an hour. Um, it should be good. You can let it go longer, but yeah, about that long. Cooking half hour to an hour. Yeah. So it doesn't take long at all. You let fruit cook your food. You could actually do this on the water if you're prepared. Man, I was fishing with uh, the guy <laughs> Dylan Marks. He got his fit uh, foot bit by the hammerhead uh -huh. and uh, we tried to Sashimi up a uh, bonito. Uh-huh. With uh, he brought soy sauce and ginger on the kayak. Wow. It was alright. You know, wasn't too enough uh, by any uh, means. It wasn't the yellowtail, but uh Yeah. Um <laughs> I've done it before with rockfish and stuff. Yeah. And you know, it's like I like raw fish. That yellowtail I would have done for sure. It was delicious sashimi. Yellowtails. Freaking just yeah. incredible. Yeah. A little bloodline here, we're going to slice that little part out. Keep that out of there. Yeah, it looks like really good clean meat, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good to me. Can already tell it's gonna be tasty. Daddy, we'll put some of this in the bowl for your road trip tomorrow too. <laughs> you I will some accept, road snacks. We'll accept that. Still got beer? Good. No, I'll I'll take one, man. <laughs> Dude, this is really good, man. Pretty yummy, huh? Yeah, like really good. It's like not over the top hot, but it's uh, mm -hmm. it's flavor, spice, you know? Yep. That's what I like. I mean, it's perfect, dude. Yeah. Just enough heat. Now John's getting started on the lean cod fish and chips. I've never had lean cod before, but who doesn't love fish and chips? 
slicing out a little bit of bone here down the middle. Some little tiny pin bones that we're not going to need. Nobody wants to eat that. <laughs> we're just going to slice up some little guys here. So what do we got going on in here, man? So in there, I got a little egg wash with some flour, about a third of a beer, and some taco seasoning. Mix it all up real good. We'll dip the fish in there, give it a little bit of panko bread crumb covering, and then we'll throw it right in the hot oil directly right out of it. Nice. Yummy, yummy. Good. I haven't eaten a fish out here that wasn't good yet, so I have a lot we of confidence. Don't, we don't grow bad fish here. <laughs> we don't grow bad fish here. That's been, the evidence suggests you're right. Call it North Carolina, uh, Carolina, I can't say it. Uh, Chips. <laughs> North Californians do fish and tots. <laughs> It's like mama used to make. It's gonna be good, man. Who doesn't love tater tots? Tots are good. Let me show you your tots, Napoleon. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that stuff looks good. Definitely want to do this with one hand. Yeah, keep the other hand. Uh, And what's fish and chips with a little tartar sauce? Time to grub. This looks amazing. <laughs> like a light fried meal right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, this fresh, <laughs> organic, you know, ceviche followed up with you know, little fried, fried potatoes, shit. fried fish. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Oh, dude, that's amazing. F***ing grubbing, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Let's go sit down. We got a table outside. Nice. This is really, really good, dude. Nut and batter. That batter, batter and those panko crumbs? Mm-hmm. That is money. That was good, man. We had a little light appetizer and then a well, little heavy meal. And sleep like a baby. Mm -hmm. Like nine o'clock, I'll probably be right past Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, I fished like seven days in the last nine. It's like catching up to Plus me. Plus driving and, and traveling. Yep, yep. Can't ever get to bed early because I'm charging batteries. Let me tell you, you young whippersnapper, when you're my age, just the driving's <laughs> gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not complaining, man. It's, it's fun. It's a cool gig.